everybody. Welcome to Life with Sunny Lee with Kathy Jarvis. And it's been a busy week. And again, I'm a day late. But mainly because I just didn't feel like filming anything after yesterday's news. Uh, we are hoping that our country can come together uh, saying a prayer of thanks uh, for President Trump not being killed and for the the Vice Sanders, most of them being released. We give prayers to the families who lost their lives, and we pray for those that are in critical condition and hope that they uh, get well soon. So, other than that, the rest of the week has been great. Uh, last Sunday, Douglas went back to his apartment, and then I harvested green beans and froze them, and I also harvested the red velvet lettuce seeds the rest of those and I worked on the uh, little pump out here in the fountain and it had quit working and I took it apart and got it working so I have my fountain out here again which is always nice I enjoy listening to the water fall um, Monday Monday I froze more green beans and I froze some green peppers um, started weeding the um, area over by the um, tomato trellis. These things had done absolutely nothing. They were really small. I almost given up on them. And then we got rain. Oh, we got so much rain. And they just exploded. And the weeds around them exploded. And I only got half of it done. It was so hot that day. And, um, I still have the other half to do. It's just, it's been hot. I've been busy. And the tomatoes are loaded. I did not be, was not able to keep, keep them down to a single stem like I usually do out there. So it's kind of a jungle, but they're doing great. Knock on wood. Hopefully they'll continue to do great. I also put together a cat car, catago. A catago is a enclosure that you put your cats in, usually during the day. It's for mainly indoor cats. But I'm trying to get the cats off of the enclosed porch because of the flea problem. And so the two cats that were on the enclosed porch are now in the catago. And one of the other cats is in the catago. We had four of them in a crate together that slept together all the time. And of those four, three of them are now in the catago. And the fourth one finally came home after being gone for a week. So he's kind of in a cage by himself right now. I'm leaving him out during the day, but at night he's in a cage by himself just to make sure that he's healthy and feed him a little bit extra so that he gets gains the weight back that he needs to gain. And then hopefully after that, maybe I can put him in the catico also. I also harvest a third of the catnip and have it hanging in the, um, in, on the side porch so it can dry. You can either um, dry it by air or you can dry it in a dehydrator at a very low temperature or you can dry it in the oven. And my dehydrator doesn't go to low enough temperature, and I don't feel like putting it in the oven and heating up the house, so I'm air drying it. And uh, Tuesday I had my hair appointment, got my hair cut. And of course that takes all afternoon, so I didn't get much else done. Did get the groceries bought. Uh, Wednesday I had a dental appointment, and it was just a regular clean. But again, it kind of takes up your time, and you don't get to do as much. But I did freeze some green beans and some tomatoes that day. Um, my husband's been working cutting grass all week. He has to cut our grass. He has to cut um, the grass up at my mom's old place. And he has to cut the apartment grass. So he's pretty busy cutting grass most of the week. Um, also, I had to feed my snake. I feed it about once every two weeks in the summertime. In the wintertime, it goes longer. Sometimes he doesn't eat for a month, two months. And since I have the enclosed porch back, I started clinging it really well. The first thing I did was I took out the area rug, took it out and laid it out in the sun. Um, it's going to stay there for a while. Um, we're going to have 95 degree weather, this or 90 degrees weather this coming week. And um, from everything I read, sunlight in 95 degree weather with the sun for a couple of hours is supposed to kill the fleas and the eggs. So I'm hoping that the hot weather <laughs> will help with that and I can get that 
um, rug clean and back inside if not it's just an outdoor indoor rug it's not real expensive so it's no big really big deal if uh, I have to get rid of it so I did that I started washing everything that could be washed in there I mopped the floor each night each morning actually uh, with vinegar and um, well the first washing was with uh, dishwasher Dawn dishwash which is also supposed to kill fleas and the flea eggs and then each day I've been watering using um, half water and half white vinegar and mopping it and doing the same thing with the uh, garage doing that cleaning that same way uh, the cats are still in the garage so it's an ongoing problem I spray after I after it dries I spray with the um, flea spray uh, which is supposed to be used for uh, carpets and stuff and for floors it can be also used on the cats that um, I haven't used it on the cats yet uh, tried a spot treatment on one eh, it didn't seem to affect it and didn't seem to affect the fleas any now I did make up a DUI flea spray which works I tested it out I put some fleas on a jar and I sprayed the stuff and and within minutes they were dead so it's a big mixture of uh, vinegar waters witch hazel and lemon juice because it's got witch hazel in it I don't want to use it on the cats because witch hazel can be toxic to cats so we're still working on how to get the fleas off the cats so I also cleaned out and reseeded the arrow garden the hope, hope of garden is doing great the lettuce is really nice in there we've been eating off of it but it's getting older so it's time to start the arrow garden with the lettuce I keep them rotated once uh, we start eating off the one I'll receive the other one and rotate it that way we have lettuce year-round all the time I also took the uh, cat crates out and cleaned them and cleaned all the bows and used the flea comb on the cats I did not find any fleas on some of the cats, but two of the cats really had a lot of fleas. So I'm doing some research and trying to find a flea collar that I can use for them, for those two. So we'll see if that works. Um, we went to the gym twice this week. And on Saturday, we went to see The Sound of Hope, the, uh, story, the story of Possum Trot. Very good movie. Uh, take your Kleenexes, you may cry. <laughs> but it's a very good movie, very well written. I enjoyed it. And then afterwards we went up and met our Otis son and had lunch with, uh, dinner with him before coming back home. And that has been our week. Uh, hopefully you've had a good week. Um, remember, pray for our country. Pray for peace among this election that's coming up among the two parties um, pray that God can um, and his will be done and uh, remember like, share, subscribe and dream big, follow that dream and I'll see you in the next video bye everybody